What's going on guys? Coming back at you with another build here that I put together and I think it is freaking phenomenal. We're using one of the most underrated subclasses for a hunter and that is the mid-tree gunslinger knife trick. But before we hop into all that goodness, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you do leave a like on the video. This lets me know what you guys like, what you want to see more from me as well as gets the video out there to other people who might also like it. And if you think you might want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. Support the community, join the community, and be a part of this growing awesomeness. And if you guys do want to support the channel even further, make sure you do watch the video all the way through. That would be huge and that would make you the real MVPs. But without further ado, let's jump into this build. So in the background, you're going to see gameplay of a... Legend Psychops for the week, and I was running this build in that, mainly to try it and see how it worked. And as you can see, it pretty much become a freaking, almost near a tank, just because of the recovery that we have, that we get from uh, a mod, and then the resilience that we get from another mod with our charge with flight. So this is pretty much like an elemental well and a charge with flight build put together. But first off, I'm going to go through my weapon setup for this, uh, really for my in-game content in general that I like to run. So, Arbalist, anytime I have an anti-barrier, I just use Arbalist unless I'm not going against multiple shields. If I can cover all shields, I won't use Arbalist. But if all three shield types are there, I'm going to use Arbalist. And then my secondary is going to be either Sweet Sorrow for if there's a lot of arc shields or i'm going to use funnel web if there's a lot of void shields and then obviously my subclass is solar so we can break it with the amount of knives and everything that we have if we have a lot of solar shields now then going into the actual subclass here so again we're using incendiary grenades to apply a burn effect and we're going to get into that once we get into the actual subclass here and then we're running gambler's dodge and then triple jump just because i like triple jump but that's you can use whatever jump you want so for the middle tree, obviously, so we're using knife trick. <clears throat> so blade barrage is the super, just hurl a bunch of knives pretty much and they explode. Okay, so knife trick, you throw a fan of flaming knives that burns targets on hit. This is huge. We're gonna get into this with these last two. So the burning edge, while enemies burn, your dodge ability recharges faster. So anybody that burns from the knives or the grenade, Gonna give us our dodge back faster. Then playing with fire, destroying burning enemies who charges knife trick more quickly. So this is kind of like a buff. So once you destroy an enemy that is burning, I think you get like 20 seconds with playing with fire. And then that's gonna go to recharging your knives. Okay. Getting into the armor and everything. <laughs> so for my helmet, I have a stasis helmet. Doesn't really matter. We're not using stasis mods here. We're just using uh, rocket launcher ammo finders. Then we have our melee will maker on here. So it can be any kind of helmet you want. I'm just doing it for my stats. The gauntlets, we are running void gauntlets. This matters <laughs> um, just so you can have protective light. But while charged with light, you gain significant damage resistance against combatants when your shields are destroyed. This effect consumes all stacks of charge with light the more stacks consumed, the longer the damage resistant lasts. You do lose 10 strength, totally worth it though. Huge survivability mod here. And then of course, whatever you need to run, I only need overload on here, just because I have the other two covered. For the exotic of the build here, we're gonna be using Ophidia Spath, and this is gonna give us two knife charges. So this is huge. So every time you get one knife back, you actually get two knives back and we're running uh elemental charge here as well for the boots we have arc boots now this is cool just because we're using seeking wells you get a lot of a lot of stuff done with seeking wells um you can use it or not use it super helpful in in-game content just so you don't have to get like super super close to the enemies you know you are chucking knives and these particular knives don't really fly too well like medium range with seeking wells it kind of like brings them to you you don't have to worry about just running up and just doing random crap you know and then for our cloak we are using a solar cloak so that we can have well of life so picking up solar element of well grants increased regeneration for a short period of time and then for the seasonal mod we are using inferno whip so this makes our knives fucking insane like like they hurt and they stagger everything 
Those solar melee abilities stun unshielded combatants, so it makes them unstoppable. And it also st staggers just because they hit so hard with this. So it will literally stagger any champion. It doesn't stun them, but it will stagger them. So keep that in mind. So that is pretty much <laughs> the freaking build, man. So, so like, like you see in the background, you literally always have knives. You always have a dodge. So like against champions, against uh, majors, mini bosses, whatever. You can just chuck knives, dodge, chuck knives, dodge. And like they'll constantly be staggered. You're doing a crap ton of damage, burn damage, all that good stuff. Um, so really, really effective. I really enjoy this build. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I would love to know any builds that you guys are putting together. Like I said, Knife Trick, one of the most underrated class setups in Destiny probably is Knife Trick. I'll definitely give it a shot. Really strong right now just because of Inferno Whip. It's insane. Try it out. Let me know in the comments. That's going to be it for me today. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I will see you next time.